Hey, I'm Christian Stevenson, AKA DJ Barbecue. Welcome to our Finding Grilltopia series. Uh, Hellman sent me around the world to cook with amazing artisans, chefs, uh, butchers, cowboys, and fans of food. Everything over live fire. So I've assembled some great techniques and recipes that I'm gonna share with you guys today. This one is grilled chicken with Alabama white sauce. I got this recipe when my friend Cupcake Gemma, Gemma Wilson and I, did a road trip on our Finding Grilltopia series in America. It's a mayonnaise and cider based sauce that comes from North Alabama. Big Bob Gibson really put it on the map over there. He'll pull out full, you know, yard birds, full chickens and dunk them into this white sauce. And because there's no sugar in it, um, it doesn't burn. So you can even like, you know, double dip. We're going to do um, a lovely, well, most of my rubs have uh, like, four essential ingredients. Salt, pepper, onion granules, garlic granules, and pulled beaver. And then I'm just gonna bring those flavors together. Come on guys, play ball. I'm just gonna pat this rub into the chicken. And once those, the fat on the skin starts rendering down, you'll kind of build a little bit of a crust. And I'll sprinkle a little bit on later on as we do the cook. This is how it's all set up. I got the half and half technique. So I've got a bed of charcoal here, no charcoal there. Gonna get our chicken that's been rubbed. I'm gonna go skin side down. And you gotta keep an eye on your chicken now because once those fats start to render down on the skin, they're gonna hit the coals and you can already see it happening, the flare ups. And that's when you move chicken around. I call it goof proof cooking. And now for the best sauce in the history of this planet we know called Earth. It's the Alabama white sauce. I've kind of gone a bit crazier with it with some of my own kind of embellishments, uh, including horseradish for even more tang. It's a very tangy, creamy sauce. So we're gonna go with lots and lots of mayonnaise, okay? Yes. A mug of mayonnaise to three-fourths of a mug of cider vinegar. Tons of black pepper, I'm talking Tons. I know you think, wait, that's way too much. No. We're doing something special just for this Grilltopia uh, series. I smoked some garlic. I did this yesterday for you guys. Gosh, look at that. That's just paste. Now I just want to cook it. I don't want to dry it out, so I'm just going to keep it away from the direct heat. It, it, it is. It's an, this grill is now an outdoor oven, so I'll put the lid on. I'm gonna grab some of my lovely uh, cherry and orange wood smoked garlic. I even put a bit of sweet chestnut in there. And when you double smoke it, it kind of turns into this gooey, sweet paste. Smoking garlic takes away a bit of that pungency. I'm just gonna bash it out. See, it turns into a paste. I'm gonna throw some of that pull beaver, that Turkish chili flakes, any chili flakes will work. And then a nice pinch of flake salt. And then our good friend, horseradish. Um, you can use raw horseradish, like maybe a thumb's worth in there. We're gonna get a good spoon, spoonful of that, half a lemon. And then finally, Worcester sauce. Good couple glugs of that, and that's got that umami, you know, anchovies, molasses. It's, it's simple, it's complex, it's creamy, it's tangy, it's Moorish. And every time I give friends, kids to adults, chicken glaze in this Alabama white sauce. They're like, that's the best chicken I've ever had. Here's a nice barbecue essential. When you're pulling your lid off your cooker, don't pull straight up, because what you do is you create a vacuum and all the ash sitting on the coals will, will follow the kind of vacuum you do and then it'll cover your food. So crack it and then move it like that. So you take your drumsticks, you just drop them in the bowl and you put it near the flames, but not over it. All right, so I want that sauce to get caked in. That's the first of the dips. We're gonna double dip and drip. Next time I see you chicken, we're eating, okay? Well, I'm eating. You're invited. The chicken's done when it's done. I've given the chicken about 35 minutes on the cooker. When my chicken comes off the grill, I let it rest for about um, five minutes. Um, one, I don't want to kill anybody with the heat, but I also want those juices to go back in to that muscle. We're going to save that little crispy skin. Now I can add a little bit of sweetness to our Alabama white sauce. So I'm going to grab the 
Australian Hellman's Sweet Grill Sauce. And then I bring a bit of sweetness to our tang. Man, that chicken. So moist, juicy, and tender. Cooked it perfectly. A nice little bit of heat on that rub. And then the double dip with the Alabama white sauce. Finishing it off with a bit of sweetness from the Hellman's Australian sweet sauce. Mixed with the Alabama. That's a cacophony, a, a smorgasbord, smorgasbord, plethora of incredible flavors in my mouth party right now. You, need, you guys need to take photos of this before I start eating it. Lo and behold, the best recipe you haven't done yet. If you have, congratulations. Welcome to Flavor Town. Grilled chicken with Alabama white sauce finished off with more Alabama white sauce and that lovely Australian sweet grill sauce in there to give a little bit of sweetness to that tang. Thanks for watching. I'm DJ Barbecue. We'll see you at your next cookout.